Hi, Jolly from Home Kitchen. Um, today's recipe is again uh, very interesting. It's, it's on the lines of uh, tandoori chicken. Uh, we're trying to do a uh, murg malaitika version of it, but with the bone, we're using a chicken thigh. Uh, and you can use this preparation to do uh, other preparations. You can use uh, different cuts of meat if you like as well. Uh, so it's a chicken thigh we're going to be using. Uh, we call it murk malai tikka. I'll, I'll do two versions of this. One is a bit spicy version. Obviously, in your family, it depends how you'd like to eat it. So we'll do half murk malai and half mirch murk malai tikka as well. We're going to use red chili paste. So key flavors in this are uh, green cardamom, mace blade, and rose petals. Very simple. We've got to grind all of these in a proportion. And I've got this out here. Uh, green cardamom is 15 grams mace blade 10 grams rose petal 5 how are this yields about 30 grams and for half a kilo of chicken i think one teaspoon is good enough you need the subtleness of that and when you grind it it comes out like this the finer is better it's slightly coarser but yeah you can sieve it but make it finer if you like yeah and um Traditionally, you marinate the chicken and leave it for about six hours or sometimes it's left overnight as well because this kind of penetrates uh, very well in it. But I'm going to put some gashes on this chicken thigh, marinate it. Uh, but we're going to do an instant version here today just so that, uh, you know, you get the uh, um, idea of this. All right, we're going to start with the first marination. And if you will see, I've made some gashes on these um, so that the marination, the flavors penetrate in this. We'll start with salt. A tablespoon of uh, garlic paste, a tablespoon of ginger paste, and I'm going to add malt vinegar. I'm using sarsa vinegar here. And give it a nice rub. Ensuring that all the sort of ginger, garlic, salt kind of rubs in nicely in this. We'll leave this for about a uh, good 10 minutes. In the meanwhile, we'll get the second marinade ready. And the second marinade is uh, basically cream cheese and Greek yogurt, which will sort of bind in nicely and add that malai touch or the buttery touch to the whole preparation. Yeah. So now uh, I've let the chicken sit for about a good 10 minutes. In the meanwhile, we'll do a bit of the prep. I've switched the oven on. It's sitting at about uh, 180 degrees centigrade. And let's cream a bit of Philadelphia cream cheese. And I'm going to use uh, Greek yogurt, really dense. You want to use yogurt, which is thick uh, and, and least amount of moisture in it. So it holds the chicken nicely. If not, the old school is literally use a cheesecloth, put the yogurt in it, let it drain all the water. Uh, it probably takes a little while and then use the uh, sort of uh, that thicker version of it. Yeah, should we get started? So I'm going to add uh, probably uh, two tablespoons of uh, cream cheese. Before we add the yogurt, I want to actually cream it up. It's very soft. You can use uh, different kind of cream cheeses as well. Um, this literally, this literally adds, um, clings on to the chicken nicely when it's being roasted and gives that creamy feel to it. Yeah. Now we'll add two tablespoons of uh, Greek yogurt. Clean this as well. You can reduce this if you like. Um, I just like it when it's nicely coated well with it, so it just kind of uh, holds it nice and it just kind of tastes really good. And that's what it is, Malai Tikka. That's it, it's done. Now it's time to now it's time to add this uh, to the chicken preparation with the spices and, and uh, that's it, it just goes straight into the oven.
Uh, well, that's creamed uh, cheese with the Greek yogurt. Want to taste it? Nice. Put lemon inside there. It's, she wanted me to put lemon inside, but the yogurt is there already. It's slightly sour, isn't it? I taste it. I taste the lemon. You taste the lemon? Well, because the yogurt is slightly acidic. Let's get cracking. So we got the chicken sitting for about 10-15 minutes. I've creamed uh, the yogurt in and uh, uh, cream cheese. We'll now just mix everything in it. But just let me also tell you that um, once you've added the first marination, marination to the whole uh, uh, chicken, the liquid, the juices will ooze out. So it's best possible is to squeeze the chicken pieces uh, and put it in a fresh bowl. And I've actually taken it out already, so that's, that's what I'm gonna do. And the spices as well to this. So this is about um, a little over half a kilo. So I'm adding close to about three fourths of a teaspoon spices. A pinch more salt. And I'm just gonna mix it well. Yeah. Look at that. Um, mix it well so that every piece is equally coated and the marination kind of goes into all the gashes so when it starts cooking it's sort of evenly coated and uh, roasts very well yeah okay the cream cheese and the yogurt have nicely sort of been marinated here we'll add um, two tablespoons of uh, oil vegetable oil yeah two tablespoons so that when it roasts, um, the marination doesn't sort of burn. That's it. At this stage, I tell you, give it good rest for another three hours or so. Um, but we're going to get straight away into the oven. Yeah. It's dinner time, getting hungry. I'm going to uh, marinate um, four pieces with chili and the balance uh, without. So that, you know, I uh, kind of taste both. So I'm going to start marinating, uh, skewering it. Right, so we've marinated the chicken. We've got half of it in Malai, which is cheese and yogurt marinade, and the balanced four pieces. I've actually added uh, two teaspoons of uh, chili paste. In this case, we've uh, we had some uh, fresh chilies which were about to get dried. I've actually soaked them, boiled it, blitzed it, and used that. You could use a dried red, ch dried red chili if you like, or just fresh chilies if you wish as well. So uh, again, depends on the heat uh, that you like. So that's it. I'm going to put it into a gas which is about uh, 200 degrees centigrade. It should take about uh, 25 to 30 minutes. Uh, yeah with the fan and the top heat as well. And we will check it uh, periodically uh, and baste it as well in between so it doesn't burn. Been about uh, 20 minutes and it's uh, roasting nicely. I need to baste it at this stage. And if you can see a nice, uh, the juices have also sort of oozed out. We will retain that, but anyway, at this stage, uh, I need to baste it. quick pasting and back it goes another um, I reckon 15 more minutes but we'll just check it just now it's been further 20 minutes after we basted it with the juices uh, just to let you know I've actually I took out the juices uh, from the tray and I've used the same uh, with uh, a teaspoon of butter actually, created that uh, uh, sort of medium and basted with it. So it's, it's nice and done if you were to look. Beautifully roasted. Yeah, nice and nice and beautiful done. That's the chili, that's the plain one. That's Maya, that's one for you. Mm. Yeah, okay. Chili. All right. There you go. I will sit plate it out. Plate straight one for me here. We've 
You've got some lovely salad as well. Um, just a side salad really and some pita bread. Um, yeah, that's what it is. Should we try my hand? Mm, you try. Should I try? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna try this one. Which one's the chili one? The chili one is in the tray. Okay. Which one's my one? That's your. This one? Yeah. A dash of, of lime. Nice and creamy, well roasted. The subtleness of this aromatic spices, green cardamom, mace, and rose petals. I think it's great. You could have it with a pita bread, bread as a kebab if you like, or some side salad. I'm enjoying it. Happy cooking. Be safe. <laughs>